Hello everybody, this is Barry Claw Ben with part 10 of my Super Mario Sunshine LP. I had to actually scrap the last recording I did of this for the reason that um, lag made the video really choppy, really bad. The audio and video did not sync up at all. So we're going to go back one and do Il Piantissimo Sand Sprint. So, whenever you need uh, updates on what level you're doing, just talk to this guy. Once we work up a sweat, let's jump in the ocean. Okay, so this might have something to do with running or working out, I guess. Well, before we go to our main objective, let's create a tree. Yeah! Like magic. Okay, so let us just uh, get up here and we can get the rocket nozzle. So, this will make everything a lot easier because what do you have to do? Oh yeah, Il Piantissimo, so, see I am Il Piantissimo, roughly trans in, translates into very Pianta and you can tell he's not a Pianta. Ironic. That's the joke, I guess. And now we shall race to that flag. So, he always shows you the flag. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 24 seconds, or 24.19. Are you at the ready? You can get set and go. See, the original record is actually 35, but I did this level before, like I mentioned. So, yeah. Now, it may look like I am losing, but... Even if he's beating him at this stage, you can gain an advantage over him. By climbing up that end. He beat me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is horrible. I have to beat my old time. Oh man, I screwed myself over bad. Instead of having to beat 35 seconds, I have to beat 21 seconds. So, guys, get ready for massive amounts of failure as I take on my old record. Get ready, set, fail. No! Oh no. Oh no. Well, anyways, you can. I didn't have to do that level anyway, so let's just go on to Red Coins of the Coral Reef. I'm terribly sorry we weren't able to do the last level, but let's talk to him and we'll see what he says. Oh, uh, mister, you know where the coral, coral reef is, right? There's something sparkling out there, I'm sure of it. Now look in your eyes, I've seen it before. Go get him! Okay, so, that's our update. And if we travel over here, never mind. Um, Red Coins and Coral Reef is our, um, it's our Red Coin mission. And if you talk to residents, they say there's something sparkling in the coral reef. So let's go ahead and find it. This is a very tedious uh, red coin mission, I will tell you that much right now. It's not the best or most fun to do, because some of the red coins, as you are seeing right now on the screen, follow groups of fish, and because of the um, graphics in this game and design, the red coins, as you are seeing right now, can go through the walls. Which means we have our work not cut out for us at all. And we have to um, follow the coins wherever they go, and sometimes they have a tendency of disappearing. There are some coins, though, that are stationary, like this one and the one I got before, and those are relatively easy to get. The worst thing you have to worry about is uh, different types of coral blocking your. Uh, entrance, and it, even that isn't much of a big deal. But it's the school of fish. Oh, oh, see, I can spot one over here. And I don't think that one's moving. Yeah, this is one of those that doesn't move. So already we have five, so it goes fast if you know, kind of know what you're doing, I guess. And so... Where is that other red coin? I think that's our man over there who just disappeared in the rock again. So, if we wait for it, we can not get it. 
As you can see, this is extremely annoying because the fish can go through the solid rock. Don't ask me why they engineered it this way. Pro it was probably a mistake with the... Okay, okay. We got him. We got him. We got him. No, we got... Uh, uh, uh. Yes! Okay. There should be only one more red coin. And... There it is, right below us. So this was a really easy mission to do, and I'm so sorry that I couldn't meet Eel Piantissimo, but to give you a gist, you saw what to do, and if and if um, I wasn't trying to beat my old record, I would have easily beaten him. So sorry I screwed up everything, let's uh, continue on. And you will notice, when we get to back to Delfino Plaza, that there is just a minute. A shiny light! What could that be? Well, this is actually our next level, showing up as a preview. So let's go ahead and hassle to it. Bye. I'm just being mad. <laughs> I'm inside a window. So let's uh, head over to that little area. And continue with the next level, which is Noki Bay. I'm going back to the first one. Uncork the waterfall. And Noki Bay you access by looking up into the sun when you're in that ring. It's sort of like uh, the flying level in Super Mario 64. First, let's talk to my favorite character in the game. Don't know why, but he is. Oh, welcome, Master Mario, I presume. We have heard much about you, yes, and all of it good. As for me, I am just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. But lately I have had a terrible problem. Please look up there. Indeed, very terrible. I don't know who did it, but someone corked the waterfall. I think it's pretty obvious. This, no doubt, is why our lovely bay has been polluted. And I can't even fish, and so I ask for your help. Yank that cork. Please fulfill this old man's wish. Cough. Hack. Hack. What's that? You'll do it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I knew you, I could count on you. Just be aware of that guy on the cork. So what we do first is we cannot touch the water. It will hurt you. Demonstration. And it will... Oh, excuse me. It will keep hurting you if you stay in the water. So, don't go in the water! But you can go around the sides of the water where they touch the land. There's a little bit of clearance there. Whether it was a program flaw or they meant it to be there. I don't know. I don't care. It's nice. And as you can see from uh, scrubbing away the goop, you reveal landforms. This is specific. This kind of platforming is specific, I believe, to only this level. In terms of um, fundamental course. See, there's... No other way you can complete this uh, episode without having to unveil these things, these uh, land masses, land forms. And it's specific only to this oh, episode in this level. Although later on in Noki Bay, there will be other things you have to do that involve spraying the wall. Specifically in our next episode. But we I'm not going to go over that right now. But right now just spray that large octopus right there. And continue on your way up by wall jumping. I haven't gone over this, but you wall jump. Why? Let me give you a little tutorial without running into those. You wall jump, it's really simple by simply going onto a wall, you will start sliding. Once you slide, you can press A to jump off, and it's that simple. Get that down there. Hopefully we got that right. Okay. So, we could have gone up on that higher platform, but right now I'm just going to tackle this right head on. Actually, maybe I won't. There are many things you can wall jump on that are that you really shouldn't be able to, but there's also many things that you 
Yeah, vice versa. Oh, are you Mario? That guy down there is my teacher. I mean my grandpa. <laughs> that cork is farther up ahead. Be careful, though. There's a weird guy perched on top of it. He'll start tossing explosives at you if you get too close. I thought you might need help, so I got you this springboard. If you spray it, it'll shrink and be easy to carry. Please use it. And it is... Oh, oh no, no. See, I didn't want to do that. It is very helpful. Why? Right now, I don't usually use it. Right now, you can come up here, get a one-up, and skip all that stuff, and get hit, I guess. And come over here, and when you unveil the goop, there will be coins underneath uh, certain spots, and that's always really helpful. You know? so, oh, why can I not do anything? And those will explode. Except this one. Which we will use, so you really, because of how far away he is, you see how that didn't even go near him? This is a level where you really need to get up close and personal with the boss. And, well, to put it bluntly, there's not many ways you can do that. You have to basically go to that rail without falling off, because you fall off here, then you're, oh, whoa. Oh, okay. I got hit anyway. Because if you go off the rail, there is a platform underneath, but it's hard to get your way back up, and eh, you just don't want to do it. But he has a considerably larger space where you can hit him, like a um, effective range of your bombs. As you can see, that would have wouldn't have worked at the park, but it did. So now it blows up, and the cork becomes unloose through the rupture. And he goes flying off. So, let's go ahead and grab this um, dull shine sprite and be out of here. <laughs> we even have enough time to do another level, so I'm gonna do the next level of Noki Bay, where another throwback boss appears. And no, well, I'm not gonna. Do it. So, after you get out of Noki Bay, you appear back in the ring where you can simply look up and enter the level once again. Boss of the Chick Tricky Ruins. A very interesting level. And it again incorporates the platforming of spraying the walls. As you can see, our old man is waiting over there for us. So let's talk to his grandson. Mar Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That truly was a spectac spectacle. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead and he wants to tell you something. So, let's just go over here, dodging a bunch of fish, and I guess killing them too. You can kind of see when they come out of the water. Okay, old man, I don't want you complaining about having no fish. Excellent way to go, Master Mario. You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo. What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. Looks like my theory was way off. Hoo hoo hoo. Ha. That's okay, I think I've got a lead on the real course. Now, this may not seem like much of a roar, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Tablets on the wall. And also... A catacomb. This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king! When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this is all true. Maybe. Well, we already saw it's true, so... Whatever. So, you can- there's many different ways you can take this. This is usually the way I take it. And, oh, why does it always do that to me? Kind of my wall jumping stalls out. So yeah, there was- Okay, well, let's go the other path, too. But you don't have an unlimited amount of time as it will start closing on you in any minute, really. Once you start to dawdle. Come on! Why won't you? Ugh. So that was kind of stupid of me. But it's alright because right after everything closes up, you will be able to open everything once again. Just wait a while. And... Yeah. So now let's end this fail fest by getting right back up there. 
See, they must have done something weird because every time you do um, backflip jump, sometimes you have a limited amount of wall jumps. What is this? We have bloopers. Huh. This might reveal to you what throwback boss we have. It should be very obvious right now. This is the one I have the most problem with. Not. See, you have to kind of give yourself a little leeway when doing this second or this last one. Or you have to be really lucky. See? I had to kind of slide myself down the wall. That's what you have to do. And that's why they're called the Tricky Ruins, because they're not easy. This one you can just backflip over. And so, we get to the last of this Tricky Ruin fiasco. And let us... Let us play. Um, let's just go around here and... Oh, that's closing on us, so let's free it up. And we're in the clear, I believe. But what is this? Right off the bat, he starts attacking us, and it's Cooper Blooper with some of his trusty henchmen. Don't worry, it's not all bad. As on top of that tree are some coins that you can use. But don't rely on them. It's handy to remove all of his henchmen before handing with him. He's a little tougher than he was back in Rico Harbor, but it still shouldn't be any sort of trouble to deal with him. All he's got now is just a little bit of uh, extra range with his henchmen. Which actually is more useful than you may think. Oh my god, did I just do this. <laughs> well, that was, um... That was humorous, I suppose. And look who we got down here. I'm just gonna run away from you. Hey, it's me again! Let me just try to get back up there. Hopefully this video won't be too long. I love it how I'm, like, just okay at doing the ruins the second time that I am the first. It shows you how much I haven't played this game in the past years. So, let's just get right back up to our dear boss. And it's the same as last time in terms of how to beat him. Twice we'll do it. Just two little, um, beats to the tentacles or mouth or whatever. Once you hit him twice, it's good. But like I said, he has extra range and he uses his moves more readily. Which means you gotta watch out. Also, it's extremely hard to grab his tentacles when they're flattened, which is when they become immobile. Watch. Okay, I actually grabbed that time. The more tentacles you grab off of him, the easier it'll make your job. Makes a lot of sense, right? So, let's finish up this boss really quick. Hopefully in the next minute or so. Probably less. But unlike the first time, because you've already battled the boss, the music doesn't stop when he gets hit the first time. Like if it's the um, first time you played this boss. Okay, let me make sure I don't do anything stupid, despite the temptation. You can also do that really, um, hold in, uh, all for attack, which is, I would say, more harmful to your playing style than the longer range all for attack. He will do the same thing he did the first time, whereas when you try to rip off one of his tentacles, he will try to protect it, like that. But, once you get rid of his first two, then you can just go for the mouth. No big. And... He flies off... Into the hills. That's nice. And that is unveiled. So yeah. That's nice. I always ground pound here. You can get a flaming butt action. 
boom, everything crumbles. And this is the ancient tomb. Really cool place. We'll be visiting this um, in future videos. So let's get the shine sprite so I can end the recording. And uh, sorry about that little thing a while ago, but uh, that'll be, yeah. Sorry about having to repeat all the shine sprites. Thank you so much for watching. And wait for part 11. Thank you.